Hello my beloved viewers, welcome back to my channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel sum series that is currently running into my channel. Friends today in this video we are going to learn how to use the sum formula with nested form of offset and row formula in Microsoft Excel to sum the nth rows in a Excel worksheet. So suppose you have to sum every five row from the first cell and do this accordingly. You can easily do it with a nested form of sum function, offset function and row function. You can see the generic form of the formula on the screen. So after the video ends please check the description box there you will find the link of this Excel sheet which I am using in this video. So without talking much let's get back to the point. In this A4 cell I am going to use the formula that is week number 1. So the formula will be equals to we are going to use the sum formula then it is asking for number so here we have to use the offset formula. Look at here it is showing help as returns a reference to a range that is given number of rows and columns from a given reference so use this formula then here you have to select your first cells where your amount or numbers are present and press the a4 key from your keyboard to lock the reference then put a comma here then open the bracket here you have to use the row formula right so it is showing that returns the row number of a reference if you press on tab button it will automatically insert a bracket then it is asking for reference simply close the bracket here you do not need to anything to put after that here as we are going to sum the amount of every five days of week so we have to type at first minus 4 follow my steps I will explain you that later then close the bracket put an asterisk symbol then type the number as I want to get every 5 rows to be calculated so I am putting number 5 here then put a comma it is asking for columns here you have to type 0 then put comma again height you have to select as 5 then put a comma and after putting a comma type number 1 here then simply close the brackets and hit the enter button look at here it is showing you the result according to your table and if you check this formula with sum look at here you will get similar result right now when you copy the formula from upside down now it is showing you from this 5 look at here 220 and 220 that means it is absolutely right then after that if you select this one 135 and 135 that means the formula works absolutely fine so let's check how this formula actually works in this example there are five rows of data for each week that is Monday to Friday so we want to sum every five rows to build a range that corresponds to the right five rows in each week we use the offset function in this cell so cell C3 is the first reference entered as an absolute reference like you can see here the next argument is row the crux of the problem right so we need to get logic that will figure out the correct starting row for each week. For this we use row function with a blank function. Because the formula sits in row 4, row and empty brackets will return 4. We use this fact to create the logic we need subtracting 4 and multiplying the result by 5. So this one will generate a row argument of 0 in a 4 cell where our formula has been included 5 in a 5 and 10 in a 6 right so column is input as 0 height as 5 and width as 1 
the offset function then returns a range to sum the range that is from C3 to C7 that means the first five cell and sum returns the sum of all amounts in that range and if you copy the formula from upside down you will get the results of every five rows in your database and it doesn't matter how long your database is so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video if you like this video please give a thumbs up share this video with your friends share your opinion as well as your queries in the comment section i will get back to you soon with another new interesting video till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and stay tuned